Um, I'm feeling a little bit better than in Hobart, <clears throat> but um, the last days has been uh, quite difficult since uh, I haven't played a lot. I was just uh, focusing on recovering and um, I didn't have that much days. And today out there, well, it was a very tough performance because I wasn't feeling at my best at all, but uh, at the end uh, I could manage to to give my fight and uh, happy that I I came back with uh, that tough first set. What were you telling yourself at five love, <clears throat> you know, calling the trainer and then after dropping the first set that allowed you to turn it around? It was a tough moment because, um, you know, she was playing great and when you're not feeling well, you sometimes, you don't know, don't know how to turn things around. But, uh, you know, I said to myself, hey, you're here, um, you're on the court, you're playing the strain open, you know, it's a special moment, so just hang in there and uh, keep fighting. At, at least she has to, you know, <clears throat> play very good the entire match. And uh, I stayed behind her and, well, you know, today I, I won the battle. Can you talk a little bit about how you've been feeling just in terms of your tennis to start the season? It, sound, it seemed like you had a very good off season, hmm. maybe a little bit of bad luck uh, in the first two weeks just with health, but hmm. um, just in terms of your form, how are you feeling? Um, I mean, like everybody, I did a very good preparation. Um, I put the work. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate that these things um, get sick and, you know, traveling and airplanes and changing countries and stuff. <coughs> it's tough, but um, so far, good. I'm happy with the team that I have, happy with the work that I've, that I've been doing, um, you know, starting fresh and just excited about this year. Describe your your last two years. Hmm. Um, tough. I think tough years. Um, I don't think it was bad years, but um, definitely um, not as good as the ones that I had before. Um, but uh, I don't try to compare. Obviously, <clears throat> they're not bad when you you know um, finish 15 or 20 or 30 or whatever. I think it's not bad. But of course, I wanted to be better and um, just good lesson. Good things, um, I took out good things and just trying to shift that again to, to better years. Gavinia, what has the vibe been like now having Conchita around and um, just how different did it feel? How different do you feel um, in terms of having her as, as the main voice in your ear? <clears throat> um, I think it's very nice. Uh, we've known each other for so many years. Um, you know, we get along since the first day we met. Um, we've had successful, um, you know, experiences before together, also as, a, as working with her and as a Fed Cup captain. And, um, you know, of course, there is no guarantees. Nobody's magical. I think the secret is uh, put the work, um, hang in there and, you know, fight hard. And um, so far, I'm trying to put that together. At Wimbledon, when when you had won, you said that kind of having her around, it was very positive. You guys were cooking mm. at home, having mm. barbecues, and mm. it was a very relaxed vibe. Is that a similar feeling now that she's a more of a full-time coach for you? No, it's not the same feeling because now she's a full-time coach. Um, before she was um, helping me out during that week, and uh, well, it was a very successful week, but um, she wasn't the main coach. Um, but for sure, we get along very good. And I think when you have this um, complicity, coach player is very important. I always try to look that with people who is in my team. Um, so far, good.